Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss the different research design in quantitative research. So saan ba natin makikita yung research design? Ito ay nasa chapter 2 or nasa methodology natin. So after ng methodology, makikita natin yung research design. So paano nga ba natin ma-identify kung tama yung research design na gagamitin natin? Or paano natin malalaman kung ano yung research design ng research na ginagawa natin. So kagaya nito, so sa nakikita nyo, no, experimental design yung ginamit niya. Kasi yung goal niya ay to test no, kung effective ba yung intervention material which is the laderize sa uh, magiging performance ng estudyante. So i-discuss natin ngayon yung iba't ibang research design. First is yung descriptive. So, ano yung mga characteristics ng descriptive research design? It used to gather data from relatively large number of cases and it defines the existing condition or phenomenon of a classified variable. So, sa descriptive research design kasi, so nakatoon lamang ito para i-identify natin kung ano yung trends, correlation ng uh, iba't ibang variables and categories. So, tatandaan rin natin na kapag yung descriptive research design yung ginamit natin, ito lamang ay, ito ay mga na, itong design na to ay nagre-response or nakatoon para sagutin yung mga tanong like what, how, when, and where. So, ano ba yung mga uses, okay, ng research uh, design na to, which is the descriptive? To describe the current or prevailing conditions. Another is to take purposefully data from respondents. So, ano yung mga examples ng descriptive research design? So, ito yung mga example topics or uh, na pwedeng pag-aralan sa descriptive research design. A description of how parents feel about the K-12 curriculum. Another example, analyzing the impact of the Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino program. So, again, ang descriptive research design ay wala, hindi nagsisimula sa hypothesis. Pe, pero, after nung uh, collection of data, so, after natin mag yung data, so, pwede tayo magkaroon ng hypothesis doon. So, Yung descriptive ay hindi nag start sa hypothesis. Another research design is correlational. So, ito ay madalas din na gamitin ng mga estudyante ang correlational research design. So, ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Kapag ito yung ginamit yung design, so dapat yung research nyo ay... Okay, so unahin muna natin. So, what is correlational research design? So, it defines the degree of relationship between two or more variables using statistical data. So, kapag itong design ang ginamit nyo, tatandaan natin na ito ay tumutukoy sa relationship ng dalawang variable. Ano yung dalawang variable na binabanggit natin? Yan yung independent and dependent variable natin. So, like for example, itong uh, isa sa mga topic Let's say, for example, correlation between number of sleep hours and academic performance. So, dito, sa problem na to, meron tayong dalawang variable, which is the number of sleep hours and the academic performance. So, tinitingnan kung may relationship ba talaga yung number of sleep hours dun sa magiging academic performance ng estudyante. So, ito ay isang halimbawa ng correlational research design. So, Correlational research design uses to determine the extent of how one variable relates to another. And another, it describes how one variable affects the other. So dito, sa correlational research design, ang magiging uh, result no, nung study mo lamang, it's either titingnan mo if they have positive or meron silang negative correlation. So, madalas gamitin dito na uh, instrument or no, statistical treatment para makuha natin kung positive uh, correlated ba sila or negative correlated is yung person R. So, another example ng correlational, what is the relationship between study time and the exam score among senior high school student? 
So, meron tayong dalawang variable din. The study time and the score of the exam score. So, yun yung dalawang variable natin. Next is experimental. So, ang experimental, ito yung mataas na antas. No? Ito is sa, sa, uh, isang mataas na antas sa research design. So, experimental research design is an independent variable is manipulated to determine the effect of manipulation. Like for example, no, sa generation ngayon, titingnan mo kung gusto mo uh, gusto mo ngayon malaman kung may epekto ba talaga yung K-pop, okay? Like for example, yung mga uh, iniidolo no ng mga kabataan ngayon, yung K-drama sa behavior ng mga kabataan ngayon. So para malaman mo kung may epekto ba talaga ito sa behavior, so ang gagamitin mong research is experimental. Okay? So experimental kasi titingnan mo kung may epekto. And then experimental, meron ditong intervention. So meron kang intervention na gusto mong i-test kung ito ba ay effective. Like for example, merong uh, sa medical area, no? Let's say, yung vaccine, titingnan mo kung itong na-develop na vaccine ay effective or hindi. So, that is experimental. So, yung experimental research design, yung respondents mo dito, yung tinitest mo dito ay hindi lang yung uh, bagay or what, o yung maging respondents mo ay hindi lang bag, tao palagi. So, pwedeng uh, yung respondents mo dito, pwede animals or pwedeng plants. And then, kasi yung experimental research design, hindi lang siya survey, hindi lang siya na, uh, ginagawa through questionnaires. So, ginagawa rin yung experimental research design through uh, laboratory at sa field. And of course, in experimental research design, the subjects are randomly assigned to experimental treatment. So, take note yung word na randomly assigned. So, kagaya ng example natin, independent video learning tool, its effect on academic performance. So, tinitest or tinitingnan kung meron ba talagang epekto, okay, yung independent video learning tool or yung uh, mga vi educational video lesson sa performance ng estudyante. So, another research design is the causal comparative. It explore possible causal relationship among variables that cannot be manipulated by the researchers. So, kailangan dito sa uh, design na to, meron kang at least two groups na kung saan titingnan mo ngayon yung relationship nung, uh, not, uh, since you are comparing the two groups or two or more groups, titingnan mo, so at least may dalawa kang grupo dito. And the researcher attempts to determine the cause or the reason for pre-existing difference in groups of individuals. Kasi nga, uh, one of the characteristics ng causal comparative, it investigates whether there are differences between two or more groups on the phenomena. So like for example, the effect of peer counseling and support group on a student's emotional condition. So another example, do attitudes toward math differ by gender? So, ito isa rin to sa mga laging kwene questions, no? Uh, talaga bang ang lalaki ay magaling sa math or uh, yung babae din ay magaling sa math? So, isa rin yan sa mga magandang topic. So, yun yung apat na madalas gamitin, no? Mulang mga senior high school students sa PR2 nila or sa quantitative research nila. So, meron tayong descriptive correlational, experimental, and then causal comparative. Okay, to summarize the quantitative research design, first is the descriptive, which is, uh, the main focus is to describe characteristics. Correlation, studying relationship between two variables. Experimental, manipulating condition, and studying effects. And for causal comparative, it comparing known groups to determine uh, causality. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button 
para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WowMath channel.